bounce back and get the cheddar cheese I guess that's why they envy me On track, now we gon' way up W's is easy as a layup Working late, stay up, stay up Counting all the way up Counting blessings, yeah, you know we pray up And Jay. And we are back with another video. And for today's video. Baby, what is today's video? So guys, if you've been following us for the past months that we've been posting on YouTube, <laughs> you will know that we love smelling good. Yes. We love fragrance, cologne, perfume, all that good stuff, right? Nice. So if you don't know, Sephora just had their VIB Rouge sale and we picked up a lot of perfume and cologne. So we wanted to give you guys a perfume haul slash a holiday gift guide. So basically we want to give you guys a couple fragrance ideas to buy your loved ones, be it your wife, daughter, son, husband, whatever. Etc. Yes. <laughs> so before we get into today's video, make sure you give this <laughs> make sure you give this video a thumbs up. No, that's not what I was gonna say. That's why I stopped. It's backwards. Okay. Hold on, let me try this again. Rewind. So before we get into today's video, make sure you guys hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and comment down below some of your favorite fragrances, be it a perf perfume. <laughs> perfume or a cologne that you think that we should try out. And without further ado. Let's just get into today's video. So guys, like she said, it's pretty much a haul. She said, like she said, Sephora had a special sale going on um, and we just decided to go crazy. Uh, but we're not doing a rating thing in a sense. Uh, all of them smell good. That's, that's just all I'm gonna say. So I guess the first one I'll grab is the gift set. Uh, that we had that I got from there. Oh, that's actually from Alta. Sorry, guys. It's a mixture of Alta oh, and yeah, Sephora. It's a mixture of Alta and Sephora. So, this one is actually from Sephora. Alta. Alta. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. This one is actually from Alta. Um, Jimmy Choo Man. Uh, it comes with the regular size bottle, uh, the travel size, and it actually has a uh, lotion as well. Smells very good. Uh, the big bottle is 3.3 .3 fluid ounces and the smaller one is one fluid ounce. It is definitely the Edu Parfum. Like I said, I don't really use Edu Toilette, but it's a nice gift set. Uh, definitely smell good. I would definitely recommend this as a gift. All right, so for me, some of this, since we're, all, since we're talking about Alta purchases, um, one of the purchases that I got and I actually really love is the Billie Eilish perfume. The lady at Sephora saw me about to buy just the bottle and she was like, no, you should get the gift set because you get a better value when you get the gift set. So this is just what it looks like. If you guys don't know who Billie Eilish is, she's just a pop singer young girl that's kind of like emo weirdo anyway so this hold on i want to make it look right okay so this is what it looks like the bottle is so pretty and this like this scent is not for everybody but it's definitely a good fall winter scent it has like this mysterious like woody like you just have to go to Alta and smell it because this smells really good. Yeah, and, it, it definitely does. Yeah, and if you know anything about celebrity fragrances, it's like hit or miss. Like sometimes they should smell good, sometimes they don't. But with this one, if I smelled, if I was to smell Billie Eilish, this is what I think that she would smell like. Because she gives you like those tomboy type vibes and that's what I get from this. So definitely for like a daughter, somebody younger, for sure. But yeah. Yeah, smells fine. Fizz naive. Okay, we're gonna stay on the gift sets. Um, this one did come from Sephora. Now, I'm not gonna lie. She put me on to this. I have this already. 
um, I used it so much that I got it got uh, empty. And they just so happen to have the gift set. But this is the Victor and Roth Spice Bomb Night Vision by Victor and Roth. The green bottle. The green bottle. It's a nice gift set as well. It was, you know, it comes with a regular size. I want to say it's 3.3. Let me see. Yeah, 3.4 fluid ounces. And the other one is 0.68 fluid ounces. It's the travel size. I definitely love the bottle. The bottle is fire. Let me see if I can get it out. That shit is hard. That's one thing about these gift sets. And it looked like he just... Yeah, it's good. The bottle is shaped like a... A bomb. A grenade. A grenade, yeah. Yes. And it has the thing like you're gonna... Like pull, pull the, the pin. Grenade, the pin out. Yeah. Hey. But. but, yeah. That's this is the, the regular size. How, how many compliments you get when you wear this? Oh, when I get when I wear this, I get a lot of compliments. Um, actually, when I wear anything, anything that I wear, I get complimented on because it just smells good. Um, and then they have the travel size, but this was a nice gift set. I can't remember the price, but I know they had like everything was like twenty percent off or something. Yeah, if right? you're a Rube member, it was twenty percent off. I mean, the sale already passed, but I think this gift set was like one fifty. Yeah, we went crazy. Yeah, we but because we was buying new stuff and we were restocking old stuff, so yeah. Yeah. And just to stick with the whole Victor and Roth thing, if you know fragrance, then you know Victor and Roth. Uh. Flower bomb. So I've always wanted this, but I didn't want to get it because you know this is a very overhyped, everybody has a type of scent, but it smells so good. We got this one from Sephora as well. And I'm gonna just eat that bird for sure. Um, and it comes with the regular size bottle and two travel size bottles. Um, honestly, this fragrance is good for anybody you can buy it for your mom, your sister, your daughter, whoever. I feel like this scent is very universal, and I believe this was like 130 to 150. Um, so it's really not too bad for a gift, and you get all three, so you can't beat that. But fragrance by I'm sure most people have smelled this, so you already know. Okay, I'm going to continue with Sephora, I guess. Um, you've probably seen this one on one of my videos before, but this YSL El Homme Le Parfum. This right here is a panties right Man, here. this boy is Fizz Naive. Bye. I'm talking about, to me, it's better than the regular Le Nuit Del Homme, the regular bottle. Um, but I think I got this for 139 Yeah, that's the three ounce. Yeah. 3.4 yeah this is 3.4 ounces but uh yeah it's a nice bottle of course make sure it says lay parfum uh i guarantee you if you got this for like i guess any age can wear this mm -hmm. uh if granddaddy get if granddaddy put that on uh, granddaddy gonna get all the hoes okay hey, he look, gonna go through the mall i'm telling you when i put this on it's over with. Like, Grandma's, I don't care who it is. Granny daddy getting everybody. So right. buy that for your grandpa if you're trying to get his groove back. Facts. This Le Parfum is is the bomb. Make I'm sure you tell them the right one. Yeah, it got to say Le Parfum on it. And it has to be blue. Yeah. So. Don't let them give you... I mean, the other one fly too. Yeah. But they tried to they tried to get me, you know, they they tried to give me another bottle and I'm like this is it. I'm like, no, it's not. It says Le Parfum on the actual bottle. Then I had to break down the bottle and the smell and stuff to them. Because hey, they didn't have it on display. No, they didn't. But they was decent. They they stuck with it and they found the right one. So yeah. I give them that. I wasn't gonna let them not give me the right one. But this Le Parfum, I'm telling you guys, man. You gotta, you gotta smell it for yourself. Facts. And you'll see what I'm talking about. You know, your phone might be overloaded with numbers. I'm trying to tell you. It, mm, tell you. Sticking with Sephora, this right here, I honestly watch a lot of perfume videos. And one of the video fragrances they always recommend by Replica is 
Jazz Club and Fire by the Fireplace. I didn't like either one of those. But when I smelled Coffee Break, bruh, I was sold. So this is Replica Coffee Break. This is what it looks like. And honestly, it... It smells so good. Like it's really hard to describe. Like it's not like a like a it don't give you just a full blown coffee cafe smell. Like no. it smells so good. And I've actually been pairing this with the Billy Eilish because together to me they just smell fine. Right. But you need to go smell this. This is the 3.4 ounce one. I think this was like a hundred something dollars. Like 140. Some yeah, or less. <laughs> but um, for this one, I would say like, I would buy this for my mom. I would buy this for like a sister. I wouldn't, this is more like, not mature mature, but like, I wouldn't buy this for like my teenage daughter. No. So like, yeah. But this, I mean, you can't go wrong. I was like this. <laughs> Like, and like, cause I let him smell the strip and everything in the store. He was like, yeah, that's yeah, fine, that's yeah. fine. It's like when you smell it, you know. Yeah. Especially like if you know the person and like they scent. Facts. Like, it's like as soon as you smell it, like as soon as I smelled it, like I knew it was her. Yes. So I guess we gonna stay with uh, Sephora. Sephora. My, I think this is my last Sephora bottle. Man, I was sleep on this one. I was definitely sleep on this one. Um, this Burberry Hero, when I tell you, when I tell you, it's fire. It's Fizz Naive. Um, I definitely think this is more of like a grown manish kind of smell. Mm -hmm. Like I wouldn't get this for my teenage son or somebody like that. Like, like 20, 25 and up. Like, this is definitely like a grown man type of smell. Like, it's got a nice hint of, of like, wood. It's, like, strong. But then it has, like, a nice tone to it as well. It And it lingers. So, every, every fragrance that you see me with, it lingers. I like my stuff to linger where I don't have to use a lot of it. Like I said. This shit lasts all day. Like, that's, for real, for real. That's why I say get the ED, ED, uh, get the parfum and not the toilet. Uh, this one is 1.6 fluid ounces. Uh, I will be getting the 3.4, but they didn't have it. So this is how the bottle, it even look grown man. It's the bottle looks mm -hmm. like it's for a grown man. I'm telling you. I would buy that for my son. You would? I wouldn't buy this for my son. I would buy this for my uncle. Like my grown son. Yeah, yeah. I would buy this for my uncle or like my cousins. Like, you know, they old as hell, T.Y. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I definitely would uh, suggest this Burberry Hero. It would definitely be a good gift. Yes. I'm telling y'all, when it comes to cologne, J. No Cologne, man. Like, every time this man go out, somebody... I mean, like, when I say somebody is multiple people, or they always telling him he smell good, like, all the time. Yeah. So, listen to Jay. If you want to get put on, listen to Jay. Yeah, they call me Mr. Smell Good. I didn't give myself that name. So. <laughs> right. So, that was your last Sephora one? Uh, yeah. So, I'm going to just go through my last Sephora one, so then we can switch over to Oxford. No, that she said her last Sephora ones. All right, so... This one right here, I mentioned in our other perfume video, I think it was the Matches Sense video, and I just needed to restock it, so I'm going to make this fast. This is the Valentino um, Born in Roma uh, fragrance. Honestly, guys, I haven't even opened it because I've been trying to like use up my other one. But this is what it looks like. I think this is actually the 3.4 one. Honestly, I can't see without my glasses on. But this is what it looks like. 3.4. It smells so fine. Yes. You could get this. Honestly, this is not the same one. This is Coral Fantasy. This is not the same one I normally get, I but that. it still smells good as fuck. Yeah. But either you get you could get this one or you could get the other one. I think this would be really good for like a mom, a sister. Like if your mama not old as hell, like this would be fine for her. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Nice little daytime, summertime, springtime scent. I feel like uh, you can't go wrong with Valentino at all. No. Nah. Like even the man scent, uh, they didn't have some. They didn't have the one that I uh, that I was looking for, but 
you can't go wrong with Valentino. To me, too, Valentino is like she said. It's more like a more mature type of smell. Mm -hmm. you know. Then next up, I have Nest Indigo. This is in a 1.7. I guess they didn't have the 3.4. But this one smells so good. It's a very unique fragrance. Mm -hmm. No pun intended. It smells so good. It smells like you about to go out with your friends. Ooh. It, it smells really good and it's very intoxicating. And all you and gotta enticing. do, yeah, and enticing. Yes. Go smell it. You gonna know. I ain't gonna steal you wrong. This shit is fat. Okay, five, five, five. Then lastly, this is a repurchase yeah, as well. I got the Killian. I don't need to be a I don't need a prince to be a princess perfume. Um, most people just call it the princess one. They obviously changed their packaging because this is what it looks like now. Five smells like marshmallow. Smells like fire. Very everyday nighttime fragrance. Yes. Like Ooh. it smells so good. That's like an all-purpose type of smell. Like you could wear that anytime. Yes, it smells so good. Yes. You gonna walk into the room? Everybody gonna be like, whoop. Who is yeah, that? That's is? that's Fizz Naive. Yeah, that shit smells so good. And that's it of what I got from Sephora. Okay. This one is uh everybody know this fragrance. Uh I got it for Alta, but I had to re-up on it because I ran out. Um But the difference is, like I said, is I get the parfum. I don't get the E du toilette. Stop being cheap, guys. Get spend another extra 20, 30, 30 bucks and get the real stuff that's gonna last. Cause all you're gonna do is go back and get the uh get the Edu Toilet again. You're gonna run out of it. So, of course, this is Versace Euros, the Edu Parfum. And I don't really have to say too much about it. The bottle is fire. The nice little yes. blue sculpture nice with the gold top. Or Very whatever. Versace. Very Versace-ish. Uh, I definitely would say this is for like younger. Like I would buy my younger son this, teenager. I would. You wouldn't? No. I would. My grown son, yes. Yeah, grown like son. teen, like eighteen ish. Eighteen, 18 twenty. And in up. college. Yes. In college. Cause mm -hmm. I mean, this is another one that's going. This definitely lingers, and this is going to be another one that's going to get you compliments and have conversations started. You know what I'm saying? But this Versace Euros, man, yes. I'm telling fire. you, definitely fire. Got it from Co uh, Alta. Alta, so yeah. Because for some reason, Sephora don't be having Versace scents. Sephora don't be having certain scents uh, yeah. at all. I don't know if it's like they're exclusive to certain stores or what, but they don't be having it. They got Versace though. They yeah, just certain not certain. Yeah. Damn, this box didn't kind of light. <clears throat> So next up, this is a repurchase for me. Got this from Alta. Another Victor and Rolf scent. It is Victor and Rolf Bonbon. And I love this scent. I didn't um, even know you got that. Where'd that come from? <laughs> Alta. This is Victor and Rolf Bonbon. Look, I it's a repurchase. It got the uh like signature Victor and Rolf little thing right there. And this smells good. You can't really smell it that much through the packaging. But this is like a very like summertime, very springtime type of scent. Honestly, if you want to wear it year round, you can. I would get that for my sister. Like I get like to me, this is like I got this for my sister. Like I could see me buying this for my sister. I don't know why, but it just gives me like a sister type of scent vibe. Okay, okay. okay. Man, so many to choose from. I'm gonna go back to ones that we all know about already. Like this one definitely is a repurchase. This one to me is all purpose. I like to wear this during the daytime. I like to wear this during the nighttime. Hell, I wear this even when I go to bed. Thanks. But uh, <laughs> this Dior Savage. 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 This is definitely a 3.4 fluid ounce bottle. But it's the Edu Parfum, like I said before. And you don't have to spray a lot of it. The bottle is nice. I like the fact that the, the top is like a magnet because, you know, it won't slip off or fall. I it's never knew that. Nice. Yeah, it, it, it clicks right on. Like, yeah. you don't have to 
Touch nice. It. Yeah, that one's definitely very masculine, very yes. manly. This is definitely like your husband. very manly. Buy it for like, your husband. This would be something I was gonna say for a husband. Mm-hmm. Yeah, your husband would love it, but yeah, I don't know if you would like for your husband to not wear this without you. So, but it's definitely, definitely good. Yes. Next up for me, I only got two more fragrances, guys. Me too. He got three more actually. Anyway, so next up. If you know perfumes, you know most girls like Burberry Her. It is a very sweet scent and it smells so good. But Burberry just came out with the Burberry Her Elixir and it's like the all pink bottle. I got this tiny ass bottle because this is all they had. But y'all know I like tiny bottles anyway to throw in my purse. But yeah, this elixir smells like, yes. let me tell you, this smell like you that bitch. Like, that's what I get when I smell this. Like, that's all I can think of. And yeah. buy this for your sister. Buy this for your and mama. She, you know, she had to get Burberry because I had Burberry. Did y'all not just hear me say I already got Burberry her? No. I already anyway, have Burberry her. Burberry, like, I feel like, honestly, like, when she wear that and I wear this together, it's like a, it's just all come together. It smells so good. Like, yeah, we just smell good. Yeah, this hero, this Burberry hero and that is fine. Cause I'm looking like, don't I got Burberry? Yeah, you do. So, uh. Save that one for last. My next one, I got put on by this. Like this was a blind smell. Uh, this definitely is a grown man smell. I definitely would buy this for my husband. Husband. Only Uncle. husband. Only husband. Okay, she say husband, but I'm telling <laughs> you. This Givenchy Gentleman uh, Reserve Privy. I don't have to keep saying this. It's parfum. It looks grown. Yes. Bottom, grown man definitely bottom. look grown. You don't really need a lot of this. You don't really need a lot of all of them to uh, spray, but... It, it's kind of like, I'll let you explain this one because you explain this one a little better than me. It's kind of like, she said powdery. It got a powdery scent to it, but it still got that masculine smell. Yeah. Like you could smell like a little bit of wood coming through, but it's like that powder, like that powder scent, it just like kind of, it softens it. Softens it. it. Yeah. yeah. But like savage is masculine. Like when you smell savage, you think of a man chopping down trees. Like you... <laughs> You think of a man chopping oh, wood, Sorry. like you think of like a carpenter, like somebody who builds shit. Like when you think of you, when you smell savage and you smell this, this is like my Ooh, man like sit back. He an attorney. My man smokes cigars in the office type of like you did. Like just chilling. He ain't got no labor job. He at the uh, cigar bar chilling. Yeah, like you about to go golfing. Like yeah, this, this, this smell is real good. Uh, I took this, uh, like I said, I blindly got this. It smelled good. Too. It smelled good, though. It smelled very different from his other fragrances. Yeah. So, last <laughs> fragrance for me, for me, y'all, let me tell you, I have been anti Marc Jacobs because I hate all of the Daisy perfumes because they all smell like flowers. And I do not like the smell of flower perfumes That's like that. That's why they call Daisy? Yes, and I don't like them. But y'all, uh, the Sephora uh, altar lady was helping somebody else and she recommended this to them. And I'm like, I need to go smell that, right? Let's just talk about the top. Let's just talk about the top. Like, look at this. It is so pretty. Anyway, this is Marc Jacobs Perfect. And you literally smell perfect. Like, if you put this on, you smell like a Jolly Rancher. You smell like a Jolly Rancher. Facts. Buy this, this for Rangers. your sister. You could buy this for your daughter in high school. Like, I get that. Like, I could see how a teenager would wear this. Like, yeah. it's not grown, grown yeah. woman. It's, it's, it give me, like, Sweet Valley High vibes. Yeah, like, but you was, like, this is definitely summertime. Yeah. But yeah, I would buy this for my teenage daughter. Like, yeah. it's just to put her on a perfume to start off. Like, this. Yeah, that would be a nice gift. Yes, this and the, the top is so cute. It got like a banana, a domino, like a cherry. It's so cute. A blue shoe. 
Okay, the way you make it sound, it don't sound <laughs> <laughs> a blue shoe. It's very girly. Yeah, I wouldn't buy this for my mom. Like, I would, yeah, no, nah, it's very youthful. It has a youthfulness to it. All now, right. One question I do have for you, like... Do you does it matter for you to you whether yours is like e do toilet or part food? I prefer, or do you just get what you what if it smell good you get it? If it smell good I get it, but I do like the fact that perfumes perfumes last longer. But if they ain't got it in a perfume, I will take it in the toilet. Okay. Now it's a back end story to this Prada Sport Luna Rosa uh red. It's the red bottle. Of course, it's the 3.4. So, we had uh, Alta. Alta. I don't know why I can't remember Alta. Because we keep going back and forth. So, we had Alta and the lady, the sales lady, she's like, ooh, I went out on a date. And I had got this guy, I told him to buy this. And he bought it. And it's just, it just smelled real good. Now, I'm smelling the other colognes, right? The one that I'm going to show you next which is probably on the top of my list. Uh, she was like, try this. I smelled it. And I was like, mm, nah. So we went back, as we always do. And now we're Diamond members, by the way. Uh, <laughs> we went back, and I'm like, babe, smell this. She was like, baby, yeah, get that. So I had to apologize to the lady because I was like, I said the day before, like, it's stuck. We was talking good shit in the car, like, she must not yeah. smell no nigga that smell good. And she thought that smelled good. Yeah. But sometimes you really do just have so many scents that you didn't smell like, you just be thrown off. Yeah. But, now, this is an Edu Toilet because I don't think they made it in Parfum. I don't think they did but either. But this Prada uh, Luna Rosa, it's the red bottle. It smells good, so I definitely, I definitely would uh, recommend this for like this is like a anybody can wear a type of smell like a young person, uh, like an athlete. Like if you just got through playing ball, you took a shower and you sprayed it on. You're on the football team, NFL, whatever. You get in the shower after you done, you put this on. Yeah, it's very like sporty. Mm -hmm. I would buy that for smell. my dad. I, I said anybody can get. Yeah, it. I would smell. I yeah. would definitely buy that for my dad. But this would definitely be a good, a great uh, gift for anyone. But this Prada Luna Rosa, yeah, I definitely would get it. Uh, it's five. Five five. It's just an Edu toilet, so I don't know how I feel about that. Now, this one. I'm trying to tell you, we're not rating anything or anything of that nature, but definitely get this for Papa, hubby, brother, brother, no. uncle, son. If they grown, yeah, grown son. Like this right here, and it's probably commonly known, but I didn't. Need, and it's an Edu toilet. So this Coach New York. Man, I'm trying to tell you, this Coach New York is fire. I took the little leather thing. It had a leather strap around the front of it or whatever. I didn't like the way it looked. You may do. But, yeah, it's 3.3 fluid ounces. This Coach New York is fire. That shit smells good as Like, well. it's fizz naive. It's, it's very, very good. It's, and it's like... A lot of the times, like, men cologne, like I said, it's, like, very masculine, very, like, strong. But Coach did it right. They it's put, like, like a between. sweetness to it. A lot of colognes don't be having that sweetness, and that's why that shit is so fire. Yeah, like, it, 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 it'll it have... It make your knees buckle. Like, you know when you watch old, like, TV shows, like, say, for instance, you watch The Temptations or, like, an Elvis movie? Yeah. You know how girls go to the stage, and they're like, oh! Like, that's literally what that... Cologne will make a female do. The other one made your knee buckle too. Hero. Yeah, the Burberry. That was good too. But yeah, it's definitely one of them knee bucklers. Like yes. she gonna get moist a little bit. Moist. Moist. I'm gonna make you. Anyway, anyway, guys, that wraps up our haul from Sephora and Alta. And honestly, for me, if I had to say one takeaway of a fragrance that you should get. I would say, if we're talking about just all in general, get the Victor and Roth Flower Bomb. Like, you can't go wrong with that no matter who you give it to. But if you, like, got a teenage daughter, 
I would definitely say get her the Billie Eilish. Big t-shirt Billie Eilish. Get her that. So, I'm going to agree with you, babe. And I would say definitely the Victor and Ralph Spice Bomb. Uh, night Vision, you can't go wrong with it. Anybody can wear it. It would be a nice gift. But if you're talking about grown man, like just grown. All right, I just pressed it again. Let me start that up. If your husband a smooth ass dude, you know, he ain't really working a job. He got a few businesses that run their self and he just sit back and smoke Cubans all day. Let me tell you, get the Jibachi. Oh, yeah. Like that oh, smell oh, yeah, like yeah. a dude. Like I got yes. businesses, you yes. know, I just sit back and Fact. collect my coins. Like another one, though, that I can say is similar to that one would definitely be this uh, Jimmy Choo Man. You think so? I think Jimmy Choo Man is like grown man is too like I'm chilling, you know, my company has been in the black for three months and I want to celebrate with a cigar and put some some uh Jimmy Choo. You ain't Choo really wore Jimmy Choo that much. That's probably why I ain't really like acquainted with it. Yeah, it, it has a nice smell, but yes definitely the Javanchi uh it's up there. Is up there for me. Like, yeah, I could see it. Like, yeah. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Once again, comment down below what are your favorite fragrances, cologne, perfume, etc. Secondly, make sure you subscribe to Jay's Life where we vlog. We talk about fitness, health, just like our every weekend type vlog situation. And... Oh, also, we're going to try to put all of these colognes and perfumes in the description. That's a lot. But we will. So, we'll do it for you guys, you know, because, yeah. Yes. Anyway, thank you guys again, and see you guys in the next video. Bye. Peace.